Hey there. Well, I have another headache again, but I, I'm pretty sure I know what's causing them now, and I'll talk about that in a different video. The uh, remedy that someone mentioned to take a small amount of ibuprofen and a regular dose of acetaminophen seems to be taking care of it. It's starting to go away, but it's still pretty bad. Anyway, um, since I've been able to go to bars legally, since I've been 21, uh, the music played at gay establishments has been an area of contention, and most gay establishments play EDM as the standard. EDM has always made me kind of panicky. It, it just always has. Some of it is designed to make your heart rate go up. It's designed to be high energy music. Well, for someone like me who's already high energy, it just won't send me into a panic at times. In fact, if I'm in a room, a crowded room, uh, it will flat out give me a full-fledged panic attack. You know, that's not fun. That's not something I'm going to go to for enjoyment. And I don't feel like taking a lorazepam to go to a bar. It's just, you know. Um, let, me, let me put it this way, okay? It's, it's to the extremes where I would feel more comfortable going to a redneck bar with people who have swastikas on their jackets than going to a gay establishment that's supposed to be laid back but plays EDM. You know, if I go somewhere expecting to dance, then EDM is fine because to me that's what da EDM should be for. It's electronic dance music. I don't see any reason to play dance music somewhere that you're supposed to be laid back and buying drinks and, and hanging out with people. It doesn't make any sense to me, but it's the standard, it's the gay standard, so fine. Um, I would have to go to New York or Chicago or LA or San Francisco, somewhere like that, in order to actually find places that are a niche niche. <laughs> gay bars are already a niche, so... You know, the um, reason why I mention all this is uh, a friend of mine who I respect very much was uh, brutally honest with me in, in the comments on my video about getting 86 from the cuff. And he's like, look, uh, the owner can do, can do whatever the heck he wants, and your reaction was inappropriate, and it was. Um, he's like, the, the thing that that he was probably trying to do is to stop me from playing music that might not sell as many drinks because that's their main focus of, of an owner of a bar they they want they want to sell drinks they want to make money and i get that i get that and i didn't really want to look at that initially but uh normally when i come in there i would play rock i would go put go on the jukebox and play rock classic rock i would try to make it non-offensive you know i don't want to play the gr screaming growling stuff i don't want to play the stuff that's so harsh that it just sounds like noise with an occasional note thrown in here and there, you know. I tried to make it kind of tasteful, but doesn't matter. It's still going to be something that, you know, I think rock music makes some gay men as uncomfortable as EDM makes me. Um, and it's enough of a percentage that someone is going to try to avoid having it played. A bar owner is going to try to avoid having it played. In the 90s, I would hang out at the Eagle all the time um, because they didn't play EDM. They played rock most of the time. It was always classic rock. I go in there. It's classic rock. Great. Um, it also had... There was actually a lot more genuine uh, leather crowd going there, you know? It was truly a leather bar. But uh, it's not now. They just play EDM there and burn incense. So... Um, they, they, and when I asked the, the bartender at the Eagle, they said, well, do you, do you ever have nights where you play something else? Oh, yeah, we have rock nights. They say, yeah, but is it the original songs? No, no, they do remixes. It's great. I'm going, oh, yeah, that's that's great. And then I ask, uh, how about 80s night or something? Oh, yeah, we have those too. I said, yeah, are those the original? Or they're, oh, no, they're remixes. They're great. Well, remixes means it's it's they're all going to be done in EDM style. So there's no getting away from that. So... 
And now that I'm 86 from the cuff, which was the only place I was really comfortable going because I could go to the jukebox and play something other than EDM, I'm kind of done with the gay bar scene in the Tacoma, Seattle, Olympia area. There's, there's nowhere for me to go. So, but I feel more comfortable hanging out somewhere where people are wearing swastikas on their coat than hanging out at a gay bar that plays EDM. That's how much it panics me. That's how terrible EDM makes me feel most of the time. There are exceptions. There are exceptions. You know, there's there's always going to be exceptions. There are some, there's every so often there's a song that could be categorized as EDM that doesn't make me feel that way. But most of it does. So, yeah. Um, I'm kind of disappointed, but, you know, at least, at least places that one would consider straight aren't necessarily all straight. Um, things are changing a lot. And a bar is just a bar now. And so I just need to look at that. So. <laughs>